We are here with our, with our new Pixhawk baseboard. It's a prototype right now, and uh, it will integrate one of the uh, newest NVIDIA Jetson uh, Orin and uh, Xavier on, onto the baseboard. So that's one of our new products, but we have uh, all sorts of different products here with uh, Pixhawk, telemetry radio, our new uh, GPS RTK system, and also our, our, our development drone kit, the PX4 development drone kits. Awesome. How's PX4 working out for you so far? PX4 has been great. All of our Flight controllers support PX4, and they also ship with PX4. Once I run into issue, I always uh, talk to Ramon and the PX4 team to troubleshoot the issue together, and uh, it's been a great experience, yeah. Check out PX4, check out Drone Code, and uh, become a member, and also um, be sure to contact Holy Bro if you need anything from us uh, related to autopilot, GPS, drone kits, and uh, ESC, and telemetry radio, all kinds of ho uh, drone hardware. All right, thank you so much, Vince. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. How's it going? What do you have here? Uh, we have Omega, which is open platform here, and then IFOS from previous generation. The Omega, this stands for Open Modular Environment for General Autonomy. So basically this is an open research and development drone. We built this on PX4. We want developers to find you know, ways to develop applications. They, we saw a need for this type of platform, and that's why we, we've released this. Built on PX4 comes with an integrated LiDAR, um, an OS series 32, Intel Nook computer, which we see in, you know, there's a demand for that as well, and also an inter integrated Ragent kinetic mesh radio, so which is, is a, a very powerful combination of, of technologies for the developer. The PX4 is fully customizable and um, open, so we really like that. And they are large user base, so just great. Yeah, the PX4 community has grown a lot and then keep growing. So hope we could grow much bigger and bigger. So eventually, um, de facto, currently de facto, but de facto open standard platform for yeah. any drone development and drone research. Certainly, we keep growing together. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much, UB5. So we're showing our autonomous security drone. So it's a basically a fully autonomous system. It's a drone that lives in a box. If you want to inspect anything on your property, the box opens up, the drone takes off within five seconds, can fly autonomously to any location, capture footage, capture photos, detect people, vehicles, come back, find its base station, slide in, land, charge, doors close, self-diagnosis and ready to go again within seconds. It is primarily for security. People can also use it for inspections, for some other observations. We have people coming up with some different use cases as well, like scaring away birds of prey and so forth. But you know, you can you can use your imagination for that. But the most important thing, it's a flying security camera. You gotta take a look at something within seconds, this thing's in the air and it's just like a PTZ camera. There's two components. There is the, the base station and the drone. The drone we call the B. The B is powered by, uh, by PX4. It's our custom implementation uh, of PixHawk. We've been working with the PX4 group and drone code for many years. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've been able to use it to do exactly what we need to do, including the, building the landing system, the charging system, the collision avoidance system. Everything is built on top of PX4. Super proud of being able to accomplish that. Inside the base station, however, is a, a powerful NVIDIA uh, GPU, which does all of the analysis, detects people, detects vehicles, can basically control the drone, autonomously plan its path, avoid obstacles, and of course manage the landing, charging, and self-diagnosis. What are you showing off today? Uh, welcome to our booth, Roma. And so far, we will introduce the Pixhawk V6 Plus. And we are the partners for the Drone Code also for and the PS4. So we, we work together with the PS4 flight controllers. So thank you for everything for uh, Lomas and PS4 and Drone Codes. Thank you for your support, Lindy. And uh, is there any message that you have for the community? So we will go. Uh, work together and cooperation with each other. Thank you so much, Lindy. Hey, Ramon, thank you very much for the, for the opportunity. Well, uh, we're working on the new uh, V68 uh, autopilot. It's going to be released soon with you know, a lot of carrier boards for, for it. And I wanted also to you know, take the opportunity to, to give a big thanks to the community that has been supporting us. It's been a very great year. 
And you know, uh, thank you very much. How's PX4 working out for you? Uh, amazing. So uh, again, we are now ready to support uh, not just software. We are also uh, adopting all the the you know Pixar PX4 hardware to make it you know super compatible. So we're very excited about that. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It was great seeing you today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have any message for the open source community? Uh, a big huge thank you is my message to the open source community. We've uh, done an awful lot of work over the last 18 months on Mavlink. We did a lot on DJI before. Now a lot, lot more from our customers that are asking for Mavlink stuff. So we're um, using a lot of PX4, RG Pilot, Mavlink Protocol, really enjoying the whole um, experience, recreating our own GCSs, uh, extending QGC, and lots of other things. Um, and then the other thing I want to say to the community is we've started a uh, a drone meetup group, it's on meetup.com and we meet once a month and we talk about all sorts of different things every month. Um, usually it's me talking so I'd love if somebody in the community would help me talk as well because um, I think people get fed up hearing my voice. Um, no, never. But anyway, so the if anybody's got anything that they want to talk about, we typically talk about live streaming, we're doing one um, about RTSP and WebRTC, so if anybody wants to uh, talk about anything about QGround Control, Mavlink Protocol, PX4, RG Pilot, we'd love to, to get you guys to help us. Awesome, thank you so much for your time. No, no, uh, how is PX4 working out for you so far? Oh, it's been working out amazingly, I mean, I've been with the community for, I don't know, eight years, nine years now. And it's, uh, I mean, I grew up with the community, right? And still being part of that community is great because, um, I mean, we're building good software uh, that everyone is benefiting from. And it's an open source community, so everyone, um, everyone is benefiting, in, but it also contributing back. And I think that's important. And Alterian is making a big impact on it. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm part of that. That, that same workforce that is making PX4 better every day. Do you have any message for that community? Yeah, absolutely. Keep contributing, keep benefiting from the good stuff that everyone is building. And, and yeah, thank you very much for uh, making the community and our ecosystem better every day. Hi everybody, I'm Lauren Young. I'm marketing at Modal AI, a Blue UAS framework manufacturer of auto, autonomous autopilots. Today at the booth we're showing off Voxel 2 Mini, our newest and smallest Voxel autopilot to date. It's only 11 grams and as small as an Oreo cookie, powered by the Qualcomm QRB5165 processor with 15 tops of AI and 5G capabilities. Do you have any message for the PX4 community? Yes, thank you so much for the PX4 community for all of your support. We love supporting the community and thank you for all of your contributions. We are so excited for the PX4 Developer Summit in October, so we'll see you then. Thank you so much, Lauren.